That is a giant pinfish. Feels like a good fish. Feels like a keeper. Joey here guys and I'm going to answer a question I get in a ton of my videos. Now I do a lot of live bait fishing and I've actually done this video before uh, or really really similar videos before but a lot of people ask me where I catch my bait or how I catch my bait and today we're going to be doing uh, pinfish. We're going to be looking for pinfish or pigfish or basically just really good snook baits. In the winter time pinfish can be a really 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 good bait for big redfish, big snook and it's a lot of fun. It's fun catching them. Really cool to do if you got some kids. But today I'm going to show you how I like to catch pinfish. First off, let's go ahead and grab the rod and reel. <clears throat> I use just a little setup. This is my little 3000. I use it for snook fishing and stuff too, but the rig that we have going on here is kind of like a little chicken rig. I've got the two hooks linked together right there, but it's a little dropper rig with two hooks on it. You can do it lots of different ways. And then I have a little light weight at the bottom. If you're fishing deeper water, you probably want a little bit of a heavier weight but I'm fishing in about four foot of water, so that's gonna be plenty of weight. So that is the rod and reel, but here is what's important. The bait, we're using little pieces of bait, and I like to use both uh, like an artificial bait, I guess you would call it, and real bait. So here we have fish gum and shrimp. Shrimp, pretty obvious. They're shrimp, pretty self-explanatory. Fish gum is something that's gonna stay on the hook a lot better than the regular shrimp, and comes in a ton of different flavors and colors. I'm just using white shrimp and that's what we got in the bag. So we're gonna cut little teeny pieces of the fish gum and we might do a little bit of comparison today. We might put the fish gum on one hook and the shrimp on one hook, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything prepped, get ready to start doing this and start catching some bait. We got us some shrimp and we got us some fish gum shrimp. The cool thing about the fish gum is it stays on the hook a lot better, like I was saying, but also it's always ready. You can have it in your tackle box, you can have it at your house. You don't need to worry about keeping it in the freezer, keeping it frozen, or keeping live shrimp or real shrimp around uh, when it comes to catching bait and lots of other stuff. And we're gonna be showing you a lot of other stuff coming up soon in future videos. A lot of different applications that you might not have even thought of. Uh, but that's what we're gonna be going. We're doing a little battle. Uh, real bait versus fish gum today. And then I'm gonna show you my live well setup, how I transport the bait, and maybe even go catch something with the bait we're gonna catch. All right, we got us the little combo platter right there. We're just gonna go ahead. Oh, my line's all sticky. Flip it out a little bit, pull some line off, get it down there, and we're looking for pinfish. Oh, we got one, we got one. First bait of the day. First bait of the day, that one was on shrimp. Get right back out there. There we go. What do we got this time? Ooh, big pinfish. That is a big pinfish. That is a giant pinfish, but we'll catch a giant bait on it. All right, we got bait number three on. So that's three casts, three bait, and all three of them came on the regular shrimp, and I kind of expected that. Uh, oh, we got something happening right now. Very little pecks. Uh, with with the fish gum, when it comes out of the bag, it's, it's dry. Once it goes in the water, it soaks up water, it gets mushy, and that seems to be when the fish really want it, once it soaks for a little bit. Usually I don't catch something on them right away. It's gotta get wet, let it sit there for a little bit. Uh, but then it should be good. So hopefully soon uh, we start showing you that that stuff actually really works. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice bait, nice bait. Ooh, don't lose them. Let's get back out there. And 
pinfishing fish. That's a pinfish. Come on, buddy. There you go, there you go, there you go. Pinfish on. Fish on. That time it's on the fish gum. Come on, buddy. Whoa. That's a strong one. It's not even that big, but he's a strong one. So the top hook's picked clean. But you can see the fish gum. Got him. And it's still good to go for another bait. We got him on, we got him on. Another fish gummer. Another fish gum pinfish. All right, we got a little bait tip for you here. So we got about seven or eight of them in this bucket right now. They're doing good, but look how dirty that water is. Normally people would pick this water up, go dump it in their live well and be all set. But that water is full of their waste because as soon as they get put in there, first thing they do is they start peeing and pooping everywhere and that ammonia builds up and it's really bad for them. So what I like to do while I'm out catching them, I'm gonna take another, water, uh, another bucket of water and just keep overflowing it and just, it just really cleans up the water. All that waste starts coming out. I'll do that with a couple buckets and you'll see the water will just get cleaner and cleaner. And then when you put them in your live well, I fill that live well up with fresh water, dump this bucket real low and just dump the pinfish in. So it takes real good care of them and we'll keep them a lot stronger. Oh no, we got us a puffer fish. Puffer fish on the fish gum. That's a pinfish. Feels like a good pinfish. Oh yeah, nice little guy. On the fish gum. So we're dumping out all that gross water, or at least most of it. And we're gonna put them in some clean water. And go take these guys to the live well. So I got a little 15 gallon live well right here. Cap nice and tight now. So we got the lid shut, lid locked. These are the hoses coming out the top. It's got those big uh, air stones on them. It goes down here into this 12 volt bubble box. And then I use a little teeny 12 volt battery. I also got a big deep cycle one I use that I'll leave in my truck, but this one I might be bringing with me today if I go fishing. It's real small and light, but uh, offers a pretty good amount of power. So that's our live well set up right there. I'm gonna go see if I can catch a couple more pinfish and then we'll get out of here. I'm at home now warming up because it was absolutely freezing, almost freezing, literally almost freezing while catching those pinfish. It was about 42 degrees this morning, I think, and the wind was kicking. So I guarantee you that wind chill was in the 30s. Uh, but while I'm home, I want to show you, I got my fish gums here. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you would have seen the fish gums on my channel a couple years ago back when they were in the prototype stage. I had someone reach out, the owner of Fish Gum, reach out to me and ask if I wanted to try this product he was making. And I tried it out, we used it. I was fishing with Captain Matt, but we caught over 200 pompano. Away. One of my subscribers sent these to me. What? Yeah, I'll give you his info. We'll, we'll try some of these out. Sand flea eggs, they're, it's, yeah, yeah, I've used them. Actually, uh, like right there, that's the sand flea sickle. And I don't know what the other names are. I can't see them from here, but we got a bunch of different flavors. Check them out on the website. Check out your local tackle shops. If they don't have them, tell them to order them. And also, uh, I think Strike Zone in Melbourne is going to have them in stock if they don't already. They, they did an order. But you'll be seeing some more of this stuff on the channel. I'm stoked. Congratulations, Fishcom. Stoked you guys actually were able to get, the, the, get it rolling. Get it to the public. You guys are going to like this stuff. But now, it is time to go fish those giant pinfish for some big old fish. We got our beautiful pinfish right here. Bucket full of them. We're going to go ahead and tie up. Get one of these guys on the hook and get started. Hooked up, hooked up. That did not take long. First one of those pinfish I sent out there. Woo! Texan Dave's on. Oh, come on, buddy. Settle down. Feels like a good fish, feels like a keeper. Feels like a keeper. There we go, nice fish. It's 
close. There we go. Yeah, he might barely be there. Thank you. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, he's long. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keeper! First bait. Hey, you caught my hat. Let go. And my Get out of here. I gotta be home. First bait, those pinfish were definitely worth it. Got a nice solid snook. Each of these is four inches. And seven and a half grapes. That's a nice, they're almost seven and a half. So 30, 29, 30 inch fish. So we're gonna push the nose all the way up there with a pinch tail right at 30 inches. That is a nice keeper snook. Last thing we gotta do is pop them, which will kill them faster and also make the meat a lot better. There we go, that one's done. And then here's that one Dave was hooked up on. We're gonna pop that one for him too. So it's a little membrane in there, I'm trying to show you. I already got it in my finger. So I went through the membrane and I grabbed that little thing and then you pop it and that's what happens. Quick kill, makes the meat good. Now we're ready for dinner.